Dear friends, welcome to our channel. Today I will tell you the story of most handsome actor of Bollywood, Vinod Khanna. Vinod Khanna was an Indian actor, film producer and politician who is best known for his work in Hindi films. Khanna was born on 6th October 1946 at Sardar area in Peshawar, Pakistan before partisan to a Punjabi family. His mother name was Kamla. Father name was Krishan Chan. And he was a businessman. Vinod Khanna had three sisters and one brother. His brother Pramod Khanna is an Indian actor and producer. Shortly after his birth, India was partitioned and the family left Peshawar and moved to Mumbai, India. He attended St. Maria's School, Mumbai until class 2 and the family moved to Delhi in 1957. There he attended Delhi Public School, Mathura Road. Although the family moved back to Mumbai in 1960, He was sent to Barn School in Devlali, near Nasik. He graduated with a commerce degree from Sydenham College, Mumbai. Vinod Khanna was one of the greatest actors Hindi cinemas has produced. Vinod was spotted by Sunil Dutt. Vinod Khanna made his acting debut in 1968 in Sunil Dutt's film Man Ka Meet. Khanna married Geetanjali in 1971. and had two sons with her Rahul Khanna Akshay Khanna both became bollywood actors too in the year 70 and 80 movies amitabh bachchan was considered to be the biggest rival of vinod khanna in those days both were rising stars and acted together in films like pavarish khoon pasina hera feri amal akbar anthony mukaddar ka sikandar Vinod Khanna gave most actors a run for their money with his performances as a anti-hero in Aan Milo Sajna 1970 The Court Jabbar Singh in Raj Khosla's Mera Gaav Mera Desh 1971 Kache Dhage 1973 Rajput 1982 Additionally Vinod was incredible at action His unbridled masculinity and machismo are unrivaled to this day. He might not have been as toned or muscular as the stars today are. But his granite jaw indented with an irresistible cleft had everyone enthralled. Vinod was magnetic and overpowering. At the peak of his career, however, Khanna quit showbiz and became a follower of spiritual guru Osho Rajneesh. He frequented Pune's Osho International Meditation Resort, Osho Ashram, and in 1982, he shifted to Rajneeshpuram in Oregon in the US to be with his guru. Due to this reason, Khanna and Geetanjali settled for a divorce in 1985. Return of Vinod Khanna to Bollywood. After a 5-year hiatus, he returned to the Bollywood again. He gave to hit movies immediately after comeback. Insaf and Satyamev Jayate In 1990 upon returning to India Khanna married again to Kavita Daftri daughter of industrialist Sharyu Daftri They had a kids Sakshi Khanna and a daughter Shraddha Khanna Vinod Khanna was not just an actor but he had a persona of his own He worked in more than 130 films He became the MP from the Gurdaspur constituency between 1998 to 2009 and 2014 to 2017 and was an active politician and member of parliament from Gurdaspur Punjab Multifaceted personality Khanna was an iconic film actor parliamentarian minister of state for external affairs and union minister for culture and tourism He was awarded by Filmfare Award for Best Supporting Actor Filmfare Lifetime Achievement Award Stardust Awards Role Model for the Year Z Cine Award for Lifetime Achievement Friendship with Feroz Khan The two hit it of as buddies in their first hit Shankar Shambhu in 1976 Not just on screen Vinod Khanna and Feroz Khan shared a great bond of friendship off screen as well 
The two had played friends on screen in one of their biggest hits, Kurbani, 1980, and then the duo came together for Dayawan, 1988. In his later film career, Khanna played several memorable roles as a father in blockbuster movies such as Wanted in 2009, Dabang in 2010, Dabang 2 in 2012. Khanna has been posthumously awarded India's highest award in cinema, the Dada Saheb Falke Award in 2018 by the Government of India at 65th National Film Awards. Vinod Khanna passed away on 27 April 2017 after battling bladder cancer for years. Indian film industry lost a highly talented and acclaimed doyer. Known for his powerful and versatile acting, he shall be remembered also for his contribution to the welfare of the people whom he served with commitment and sincerity in his various capacities as a public figure and as a leader. That was the end of Vinod Kanna's era. People will comes and goes but some of them will be remembered always. Indian film industry lost one of the most charismatic actor. For more life stories and filmography of actors and legends. Please like and subscribe our channels. Thank you for watching.